Hey baby, where are you at? Fuck you, Michelle. I'm done. What did you say? I said I'm done. Are you deaf? Don't ever call this number again. Roy, what kind of rough play is this? Please stop it. If you want to make this matter worse, I told you to get into that car and drive off with your car. Madam, I know they enter any car. Now for here at the day, I will send for the end. Make I tell you, all this thing, what this is little people are they do now nonsense. I know people to go for express. Now place where motor are no plenty now, the contracts they make motor contract me. If I send a plan, a plan, I said, if now Papa motor are the pass for you, this is I go I go eat them for you. You get in on the other side, Jamila. Are you okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, listen. I need you to listen to me for a second. Look at me. Look at me. Look. I don't know what it is that got you to a state where you needed to commit suicide. But I need you to know one thing. It doesn't mean you're not a strong woman. 
okay? What it simply means is that you're carrying so much burden. A burden that's too much for your heart. Huh? But I promise you one thing. If you will come with me, you'll be happy again. Everything will be just fine. Um, is there anyone I can call for you? Um, by the way, what's your name? Michelle. Good. That's a lovely name. Now, my name is Tambourine. <laughs> right. I get that reaction every time. That's the name I gave myself when I survived cancer. See? You can be just as strong. Look, I'm going to take you home and everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> it's okay. You're going to be just fine. Okay, let's go home. Dude, put them her car. You take care of that, Yamila. Okay. Sort that out for me, please. Okay, ma. Okay. Even the foot are not put to open again. What thing are they doing this tomorrow? Ah, that is how you caught me for hand. Oh. Madam, now wait on come on. Okay. Uh -huh. Can you drive? Madam, now you drive with this car. I can motor make her come here now. I just have to wait the driver. I mean this kind of car. No, come on, no car. We are not the driver for this. Okay, one. okay. Follow us, my madam will sort you. Maka Jurago, Madame will kill me. Yes, sir. Yes, Maka will. This is why I don't need a security. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Yes, can make a relax. Madam, are you a yay? Are you a yay? Are you a yay? Are you a yay? Woo! Are you a yay? Madam, I'm not going to do it. Madam, I'm not Music off! Oh, sorry, madam. Yeah. Please, take her inside. Get her settled yeah. and cleaned up. I'll okay, be right there. Okay, ma'am. Okay. 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 Are they for Let me have the key, please. Okay. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> All right. 
All right, let me give you a little something for your trouble. Yeah, along, along. Allah, let me tell you, America. God, I go bless you. Well, where you are going, you will impact more than than Allah. Anytime when I see somebody, when I want to commit and pursue that, I want to kill myself. Make a call me. My number is zero eight zero. It's okay. You can go now. And make a call my number now. Right. Please Please help him out. You people now, good people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yes. um, Yes. God bless you, madam. Mm -hmm. God bless you. uh, God bless you. Over here, dear. Ah, there you are. Please, have a seat. I'm sure you feel a lot better now that you took your bath. Right? Good. I wasn't quite sure what you wanted to eat, but I told the chef to make it very light and simple. Go ahead. Well, it's either you eat or you start talking. Because I'd like to know why a beautiful woman like you would want to commit suicide. have a guest. Yeah. Um, you're back early. I have a headache. Oh. Would you like something to eat? Not all headaches are caused by hunger, Mom. Well, mine sometimes is. <laughs> Mother, one second, please. Sure. Excuse me, dear. Well, eat your fruits. Well, as soon as I'm done with her, I'll let her go. I hope it's in 22 days. It won't. You should get something to eat, you know. I am not hungry, mother. a very good heart, like his father. You must be married to a good man. Yeah, I was married to one of the best. But he's in heaven now. Femi was a good man too. Is your husband dead too? Why are you in such a terrible state, Dad? We met in England. He was an engineering student and I was a law student. We got married and returned to Nigeria. 
As the best in his engineering class, it was easy to get a job with a prestigious oil company. We were so happy and comfortable. Femi spoiled me with the good things of life. He was also a passionate lover. Mm. Sounds like you had it all. I did. I wasn't getting ahead as a lawyer. I found myself falling in love with fashion instead. No, oh. you looked fashionable when I saw you earlier. Thank you. <laughs> so did you explore your fashion interest? I didn't just explore, I excelled. Femi sent me back to London to, to study fashion. He even opened a multi-millionaire fashion line for me. Oh, wow. Your Femi sounds like quite the man. I had the best equipment and hands. Femi was a perfectionist. And before I knew it, I had politicians, celebrities, and socialites as clients. Michelle, you've seen the fabric. I trust you will do a good job with this. Of course. You know, this is 100% reversible Ankara silk. Can you appreciate this? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I trust that you do a good job with this. Of course, honorable. Do I disappoint? Look how good you look in DNA. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. DNA, you bring out the best in people. Thank you so much for your patronage. My pleasure. I I'll see you off. Thank you. Let me get that for you. Thank you so much, Michelle. Have yeah. a blessed day. You too, you too. So tell me, how did the serpent get into the garden? Yeah. Look, only a serpent can destroy the beautiful picture you just painted. It entered through Jennifer. Fashion genius herself. Hmm. I mean, they sing praises about your talent, but not your beauty. Well, that's flattering. Not at all. You, my dear, have all of my friends slaying at every event in your design. Thank you. Hmm. I want to steal their show. I want to be the most desirable, you know, the only desirable woman at my events. And you've come to the right place. Let's check out some fabrics. Oh, okay. So we have. This. Oh yes. Maybe something like okay. glittery, shiny. There. So tell me, did the serpent sleep with your husband? No. Oh. So what happened? I slept with the serpent. Wait. Did I hear you right? <laughs> Jennifer was a party freak. A socialite with a rich husband who sponsored her lifestyle. We became close. She introduced me to a club, the Cleo Elite Club. 
I joined. The women had a different ideology. They insisted that all men cheat <laughs> and didn't deserve their loyalty. <laughs> okay, okay, but but I defended them. Why do you girls think it's impossible for a man to be faithful? <laughs> it's in their genetics. DNA. DNA. <laughs> Girl, this is why we try to make ourselves happy. Do things like this. Have girl time, and when we want, we pay toy boys to take care of our bodies. <laughs> Misha, sure, darling, you see, I trusted my first husband, now late. I trusted him enough to swear with my life for him. But when he died, <laughs> illegal children swam out from nowhere. No! Oh, yes! Mm -hmm. My darling, if you dig deep, you'll be shocked at what you find. Yes. And on that note, please enjoy your life. Enjoy <laughs> your life. Here, here. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Well, I see a woman who was exploring. Not too bad. I explored beyond limits. And if I introduced me to the other side of Lagos, I kept late nights.
They waited that night. They waited every night after that. They? Femi and our daughter Bonali. Involved in all sorts. Jennifer and I even had a threesome. We shared boys. I'm sorry. I have a tendency to sneeze when I hear something shocking. Excuse me. It's just the shock of what you just told me. Now, tell me something less shocking. As if a demon had possessed me. I was out of control. Femi was getting worried. Goodness, Michelle, where are you coming from? I waited for you all night. Drink of alcohol, Michelle. That's a very stupid thing to say, Femi. Watch your tone, Michelle. No, you watch your tone, Femi. Shame on you, Michelle. Shame on you. Shame on you. I mean, this is so sad. You have never got to see our daughter anymore. Yeah, yeah, I'll make it up to her. You be ashamed of yourself. That feels so good. I know you like it. Mm. Babe? Yeah? Um, how far with that stuff we spoke about? What stuff? What is it, Paul? If you want to say something, just say it. I'm not a mind reader. But you promised me one today. Oh, that's true. Sorry, I totally forgot. Um, while you're at it, I just want to add a little something. For Please, you. Paul. One million is what I promised you, and that's what you get. Okay, we'll just tease him. Mm, Scent. Scent. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Yes, I'm really busy right now. All right, so just um, hold everything up for an hour. Okay. <laughs> make sure you don't call her back and make it three hours. Ooh, well, maybe we can just make it all night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! My husband. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dress up, dress up, please. Find somewhere to hide. Come on, dress up! Good day, sir. How are you, Felicia? Uh, I, I'm fine, sir. What do you want, sir? Huh? Hmm? Um. Mm, Madame is not around. Well, I saw her car outside. Hey, baby! Mm -hmm. 
Sorry, sir. I didn't see her re return. Oh, yeah, you were out for lunch when I got in. <laughs> uh, baby, what are you doing here? I brought you some lunch. Baby, I've already had lunch. And besides, I have to meet an important client. Like right now. You should have called me before you came. Then it wouldn't be a surprise. That's true. Anyway, I'll take it home. I promise I'm going to eat it tonight, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, honey. That was so thoughtful of you. Yeah. This is getting heavy. Baby, is anything wrong? You've been very quiet all morning. Yeah. It's amazing how suddenly this sofa has become a sleeping bed. I was just tired. Tired drunk, you mean? Why are you always accusing me of being drunk? Listen, Michelle. Do you realize that you're a mother and our child is watching? So? My being a mother means I can't have a life? Partying excessively and drinking all the time is not a life, Michelle. Do you realize you sound jealous, Femi? Is it because I have such a fascinating life and a successful business? <laughs> you make me laugh. The same business that I built? I can pay you off. Don't play that game with me. You startled me. What? What is it? Look, I, I don't have time for your fights today. Excuse me. to take a very good look at her, trace her, follow her, and get me proof. 
Sure. I'll send you details for payment. Mm. Hey babe, how's your day been? Yes, baby. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm so swamped with work. Yeah, I'm doing like four people's job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I'll just leave you to it. Okay, um, see you when you get home. Okay, baby. Mish? Yeah? I love you, you know that? I love you too, honey. I, um... I've missed you lately. But we live together. You and I, we, we drifted apart. I'm sorry, but... my business takes all of my time. Your daughter and I, we, we need you. We were very happy in England, remember? You want for me to just shut down my business just so you can be happy? I haven't said that, okay? I haven't said you should shut down your business. But that's what takes most of my time. Michelle, I don't want trouble, okay? I just want us to have peace together. Look, you don't give me any attention anymore. You don't care about me. You don't even show... Work? Yeah, work. Um, is everything okay? Um, Femi, I, th I think... Look, let's just go home, okay? Let's just... I just want to go home. Perhaps I should have been a little more discreet going forward. Oh my god. Please leave. Oh my god. Please leave. Thank you. 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 Thank
tell me. He's just a customer. He gave me a ride home and I was just thanking him. You were thanking him with a hug? And uh, Michelle, you were thanking him with a hug? You think I'm stupid, right? Stupid to you? I don't know. Listen, if it were not for the neighbors, I would have beaten him up. Hell, if it were not for my little girl that I live for, I would have killed him myself. And me too, I guess. You know what, Femi? From now on, my body is off limits to you. You are not going to lay a hand on me again. Michelle, what has this got to do with anything? You can't act stupid and expect everything to be normal. You know what, I think I should just go. Oh no, 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 listen, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize for my disapproval. I deserve it. No, no, no. Look, you probably had your own reasons. I do. I'm evil and depraved and- Uh-uh, uh-uh. Listen, no negative vibes, remember? <laughs> Look, sit, 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 have a seat. So, did anything good at least happen? Yes. Or so I thought when Roy happened. Hi, babe. Good evening. Hmm. So, uh, what are you making? It's for my daughter. Guess what, babe? Let me, please. I'm not in the mood for this. Please. Anyways, I wanted to tell you that um, Roy will be coming to visit very soon. Roy as in our best man? Yes. Must be nice. I'll be going to the airport to pick him up, and I was going to ask you if you'd like to um, ride with me when I go pick him up. That is, if you're up to it. I'll think about it. Anyways, enjoy your cooking. Yo, Femo. So good to be back home, bro. Man, it's good to have you back here, Roy. Always. Welcome to Nigeria. Thanks, man. Bro, it's so hot. Yeah, it can get really hot in the daytime, but in the evening it gets cool. Like, oh. oh, okay, great. All right. Anyway, you see, uh, there are lots of very new things that you have. Oh, yeah? Last night. So I'm taking you around. I can't wait to just slow go. You better be ready for the adventure. I can't wait. <laughs> Sweetheart, we'll be taking you around, right? Okay. Sweet. Find you. Roy, Roy. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that Royal the Rovers? Man, <laughs> Oh my goodness. Uh, Ooh. Welcome home, Roy. Man, Nice to have you back here, man. Always, bro. Um, you want to come inside? All right. You guys right. come in the house. Right behind you. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Get, to take you to get your bags out. It's about 20 minutes. Possibly. Oh, wow. 
want to produce more. <laughs> there he was, my secret crush. Femi's best friend and our best man. But with each passing day, I, I grew fond of him. I started to like him. I wanted him. And I knew I had to have him. Even as I watched him play with our daughter, I wished I was the one giving him so much pleasure. <sighs> when the opportunity presented itself, I seized it. life now feels like a horror movie. I mean, the woman I gave my whole life to has turned my life into a living nightmare. How can I help? Hello. Here to see Michelle. She's expecting me. Okay. Roy. Oh, right. She mentioned. Lovely hair. Thank you. Thank you. So? Yeah, um, first door on the right. here with Femi, you know that, right? <laughs> I have a CCTV camera. The reason he never caught you, I guess? <laughs> Your friend has been telling tales about me, I see. Michelle Femi is suffering. What are you doing to him? You used to be crazy about him. If everything he tells me is true, then... Your friend is going to be fine. Wine? Water. Cold water. Getting worked up? Femi is suffering. So am I, Roy. Your friend doesn't understand. How am I supposed to be happy with him when it's you I want? What happened? <sighs> what changed? A lot. Okay. Michelle, stop. Stop this. Stop this. Stop. Stop fighting me. What's up, bro? Did you speak to my wife like you promised? Yeah, I yeah, have uh, spoken to Michelle. Good to hear that, bro. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Roy. Thanks a million. Sure. Yeah. 
sure, bro. What are friends for? So, see you at the bar? All right, sure. All right, I'll see you there then. Anything? No, Mom. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Just full of tales, that's all. My point exactly. All these people you keep bringing are filled with so much tales, you know. Yeah, honey, but people are suffering. Mother, you can't save the whole world. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. But I can try. One person at a time. I fear for your safety. Especially when I'm not home. Oh, come on. You don't have to worry about me. He watches over me. Doesn't he? <laughs> okay, so, tell me. How did your day go? I need a new story. I'm tired of gloomy tales. <laughs> It was okay. Thank you, Chef. Oh, come on. 
Morning, Mom. I'm off. Well, morning, Hans. I'm off. No breakfast? About that stranger. Is she still in this house? Yes, she's still here. Then I'll pass. Oh, come on. Let me pack you a breakfast to go. I don't know how you think you can survive without eating anything. You never do. Have breakfast. No. Good morning. My mother is too kind, you know. She means everything in the world to me. I mean no harm. So I take it you'll be gone by the time I return, yes? Good. Don't worry about it, Mom. I'm gone. What do you mean, don't worry about it? I got the... Oh. That's all that. Good morning. Good morning, Michelle. So, how are you? Why don't you join me for a cup of tea before breakfast? I think it's best if I leave. Why? Look, I haven't even heard the rest of your story. I'm curious. Come on. Sit down. But dad, why does mom always come back late? Oh, listen darling, finish up and go with some TV, okay? It's an emergency at work. I have to go now. I'll be right back. Um, what okay. Dad? Okay. What dad? Take your bullet, okay? I'll be right back. What dad? dad? I'll be right dad. back. Dad. Counseling her. Counseling my wife. Counseling my wife. Counseling my wife. Daddy, 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 stop it. Please, please. So somebody help me, please. Daddy, Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, what's wrong with you? You're embarrassing me. You should be ashamed of yourself. I'm messing around with my best friend. Do you realize this is my best friend? I'm ashamed of you and you. Emotionally blackmail me. Roy is different. 
He gets me. He is sick. Ah! How dare you speak to me like that? Look at me, Michelle. Turn around. Michelle? Hey, Michelle. Michelle. Hey, quit playing with me, Michelle. 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 Okay. Okay. Relax, Mr. Femi. Her skull is not fractured. There are no bruises to the brain, and her head looks fine. There's no serious trauma. Just a mild traumatic brain injury caused by oxygen deprivation to the brain. Not to worry, she'll be fine. I love you, Michelle. I really do. I am sorry to have laid my hands on you. I promise I will never hit you again. Please forgive me and give us a chance to attempt a fresh start. I love you so much, my wife. I really do. Can't wait for you to come round. The tea? No, your story. Well, I guess I deserve that. Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be judging. Please, carry on. Well, after that, Femi gave me what I desperately wanted. What? A divorce. Michelle! Can we talk? Talk about what exactly? Listen, Michelle, I'm sorry, I... Femi, please. I want a divorce. I'm done with you. I just came here to pick up a few of my stuff. I'll grab the rest later. And just before you think of hitting me again, I want you to know I did not come alone. Roy is outside waiting for me. Who? You want a divorce, right? Yes. And I mean it. I'll gladly give it to you. Good. Hmm. Hmm. Everything happened so fast. Roy's relationship with Femi crashed as ass blossomed. The divorce proceedings went without a hitch. We settled for an arbitrator. Council clients, this is the divorce arbitration session for Mr. and Mrs. Adifemi. Council? Sorry, bless the beat. XR, Council to Michelle Adifemi. Sorry, Council to Mr. Adifemi. I believe. 
if um, all parties are ably represented. Shall we then proceed with the matter? Protocol is sorted. Now, the custody of the child. I want full custody of the child. That's Femi! Tell me you're joking! I am not joking, Michelle! You are not fit to be your mother! On whose authority? On my authority, I'm the father of the child! You're going to keep me away from my daughter? Oh, yes, I'm going to keep you away from the child! And what are you going to do about it? Femi, I deserve at least a joint custody! Michelle, you wanted everything, I gave you everything! I gave you the cars, the house, everything you wanted, but not you my child! You keep a mother away from my child! And Femi. I will keep her away from you because you don't deserve to have her! You are a bad mother! Adulterous mother! And from the filings to Femi signing the acknowledgement of the receipt of service to the decree Nisi and eventually the decree absolute. I couldn't have asked for a more stress-free process. Hey! Hey. Not to the excitement. <laughs> An arbitral award? <laughs> Layman's stamp, please. Uh, this is a determination on mercy by an arbitration tribunal. That's, that's what it is? Yes! <laughs> Baby, this is equal to a judgment in the court of law. Signed, sealed, and delivered. Finally. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we did it. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? After all this stress, I just want to leave this country and start all over again. With you. We've earned it. Yes, we have. <laughs> Baby, you should have seen Femi at the proceedings today. He was like a zombie. There was no fight, no struggle. Everything I wanted, he gave me. The only thing he wanted in return was Bolandi. That's it? Yes. Just that? Yeah. <sighs> Baby, I'm a little worried. What if he comes after everything? After us? Baby, we need to sell off everything and just move out of this country. Don't worry, you're pretty head, love. Just leave all that to me, okay? Okay, thank you. I love you, baby. Baby. And I love you too. <laughs> what is it, dear? Huh? <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> Did Femi hurt Roy? Is that it? Is that why you chose to end it all? me sell all my properties and shares. <laughs> Transferred all my money to Canada. We're set to relocate. <laughs> I just went back to say goodbye to my daughter and family. <laughs> Michelle, what do you want? Roy and I are relocating to Canada, so I came to kiss my daughter. To kiss your daughter goodbye, you mean? <sighs> Femi, she's going to come look for me as soon as she comes of age. I bet she would. Bolande! Yes, Daddy! Oh, you're lucky, Mama!
Are you back? Baby, I came to tell you something. What's that? What are you calling back? I'm going to Canada. That's far. I'm going to miss you. Me too. Me too, babe. But look. I love you, okay? I love you too. You're always going to be my little princess. Listen, I think you need to go, uh, Michelle, okay? You're upsetting my daughter. You need to go. I'll see you soon, all right? Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah, my boy. What you do? Hmm? Hello? Hey, baby. I just left the famous place. Where are you at? At a hotel chilling. Chilling? <laughs> baby, look, I hope you know who can't afford to miss our flight. Hope you're packed already. Flight? Did you book a flight? Baby, this is some sort of rough play. Please. Stop it. I'll see you later, okay? See you never. What did you say? The movie's over, Michelle. What movie? Is this a joke? You know what, Femi? From now on, my body's off limits to you. You're not going to lay a hand on me again. Michelle, what has this got to do with anything? You can't act stupid and expect everything to be normal. Okay, if this is how you want to play the game, two can play that game. I'll show you I can play two. Okay. Hey, Roy brother of mine, I need you to do me a favor. I don't know what to say, bro. This, this feels like a movie. <laughs> yeah, my, my whole life now feels like a horror movie. I mean, the woman I gave my whole life to has turned my life into a living nightmare. How can I help? I have done everything I can to, you know, put her back on track to make her change her ways, but nothing has worked. Lord knows I've done my best, but now I am done. Done. What do you have in mind? I want us to rip her off of everything I've ever given her, or anything I would have given her, and anything else that she would have built by herself. I want it all. That's tough, bro. I know. I know. But I want it all. And you and I will get it. Guy, your guess right, man. She's no good. Did you think I was lying? She came on to you, right? She did. <laughs> listen, Roy, listen attentively. 
I want you to do anything you need to do, okay? Just do what you have to do. And have fun, if need be, okay? Because personally, I don't give a fuck. Yes, yes, you heard me right. You have my blessings. Sure, bro. Yeah, no worries. You know I'll do anything for you, man. I got you. until during the proceedings. Damn. My boy is loaded. Yes. Listen, babe. Look, you need to move all of that money here, SAB. He might have bad plans for us like we already suspect. Yeah. I've been thinking about that too. I can help you sell everything you collected from him. Everything. That is perfect. Baby, I'm going to sign over the power of attorney to you tomorrow. You really thought I'd leave my best friend for you? A man that gave me a second chance at life? Roy, Roy, tell me you're lying. Roy, tell me everything we shared was real. I wish I was, but I'm not, Michelle. I returned everything you took from Femi to him. And hey, Michelle, you better not do anything stupid, or else all I need to do is push the send button. And the whole world will get a show. I'm sure you know what I mean.
Let me tell you a little story about me. Michelle, I, I lost a sibling to suicide. And when they laid him in that ground, I made a vow to help the cause. Michelle, suicide is only a permanent solution to a temporary predicament. There are people who care about you. Like your daughter. People who think your life is precious. Look, I've Taken help to people with the police in the middle of the night. I've taken people to the emergency room. I have made phone calls to parents. I take the responsibility for their for their lives, their soul. That's what matters. And by God, he's going to help us to get you through this. You hear me? All right. Now, you know what I'd like you to do? Say a prayer with me. Huh? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.